Now, have you ever wanted to organize the content on a WordPress website using custom post types, but not have to go to all the time and hassle of creating and designing the template files for the custom post type archive and single post pages? Well, me too. Now with the Bloxy theme though, you don't have to. One of the coolest features is its ability to provide the editable templates as soon as you create a custom post type. You can then customize all the settings for these two layouts directly inside the intuitive Bloxy customizer. But best of all, this is available in the free version of Bloxy. So how cool is that? Now in this video, I'll show you quickly how to set up the custom post type along with the taxonomy to manage the organization of your content. And then I'll demonstrate some of the many features to customize both templates with Bloxy. Now, for ease, I've included timestamps in the description below, so you can jump to any part you want to if you don't want to watch the entire video, or you need to skip back just to go over anything I cover. Okay, so let's start by taking a look at the end result, and then I'll show you how to recreate this for yourself. So this is an example of the site that we're working on. As you can see, there's the homepage. There's our resources section, which is our custom post type. We click and go inside there, and then in there, we've got our archive, as you can see, archive resources. We've got a custom layout. We've got pagination. We can then simply go into any of these items, and we've got a design all set up and controlled inside the Bloxy editor itself. So this is what we're going to look at recreating right now. Okay, so let's kick this off now by just starting building everything out. This is not going to be a comprehensive tutorial because I'm kind of assuming that if you know about custom post types, you're probably going to have a basic understanding at least of working with custom post type UI. So if that isn't the case, I've got dedicated videos. You can check those out. Links in the description. So the first thing we're going to do is add in our first custom post type. We're just going to keep this simple, a custom post type and a custom taxonomy. So we'll add a post type. We'll give this a name. Uh, for this example, we're going to call this resources, the plural name resources as well. Put a capital in there and we'll do resource for the single. OK, so there's the basics. We're going to scroll down and we're just going to make sure we've got a few other things set up so everything works correctly. First thing we need to make sure that we have enabled is that this has an archive. So we can set that to be true. If you want to, you can set this to be hierarchical. If you want to have a hierarchy of structure for this example, I'm going to set that to be true. And that's pretty much all we should need to do. You can drop in an icon if you want, and you can specify what this kind of supports. I'm going to keep it really simple. Just have title, editor and featured image. Other than that, everything else looks good. So we'll add that post type in. We're going to come into add and edit taxonomies this time, and we're just going to create a new taxonomy. So we're going to call this resource category because we can't use category because that's already been used as a default option inside WordPress itself. So we're just going to call this category. The labels don't matter so much. That should be categories and category. OK, again, we're going to just quickly set a few parameters up. First of all, we're going to link this or attach this to the resources custom post type we've just created. And you could leave it there if you want, but there's a couple of things again that I like to set up just to make it a little bit more usable. So we're going to make sure this is hierarchical because that just makes structuring things a little easier. We're going to say show in the admin column so we can see it when we're editing and creating content. And we're also going to put this into the show uh, quick bulk edit panel, which just makes life a little easier. Other than that, everything else is in place. We'll add our taxonomy and we are pretty much done. Now, if we look on the left hand side, you can see we've got resources, we've got all resources, add new, and we've got category. If we open up all resources, we'll see that this is where our resources will be listed and we'll have the title, the category, which is our custom taxonomy, and also the date this was created. If you add additional taxonomies, you can just add extra columns inside you just to make organizing things so much easier. Now, obviously, we need to add some categories in here and we need to add some content for our resources. So I'm just going to put some filler text inside here. So first of all, let's create a category and we're just going to call this. First of all, we'll say page builders. We'll say this is a WordPress based blog that we're creating. We'll add that category in. And once we've done that, we'll add in themes as another category. OK, so we created a couple of categories. We can associate those now with any of the resources we add in. And I'm going to use a little plugin called Faker Press, which just allows me to very easily add in extra posts. So I can come in and I can set a few things up. We're going to say, let's add in six ish posts. Yesterday's perfectly fine. We're going to set this to be resources and not posts. So we'll just uncheck that. So this is only going to create some fake posts inside the 
custom post type of resources. And if you want to set anything else up, like the author, for example, you can do that. You can choose what HTML tags are going to be used. So let's just take a couple of these out. We don't want divs and things like that in there. And then you've got the image providers, which just basically puts in like featured images and maybe some images in the actual content itself. So I'm going to leave Laura and Pixum and take out placeholder because I just put some placeholders in there. And if we want to use taxonomies, we can do that as well. So let's just add in our categories and then we'll take out the default WordPress ones. Terms, well, we can see we can use page builders and we can set this up to use themes. So that's just going to add in the content in. OK, so we'll leave that. We don't want any meta fields, so we'll just remove that from there and we'll just generate this. OK, so there's our fake resource posts and you can see categories are applied except for this particular one. And this is a great way of let me just show you why that quick option, the quick edit option is so useful. Let's just say quick edit and inside there, categories is an option. So we could just type start typing in themes, for example, and there you go. We can now add that in. There we go. Update that and we've applied a category to it. So there's our custom posts. Everything set up the way we need it to be. Okay, let's just go into appearance now and come into menus and let's just add this into our menu structure. So we need to add resources in. Now, because it's a custom post type, we can't go to the resources section because that's the individual posts themselves. So what we need to do is make sure we've got the right menu set up. We'll select that from the list and then we're going to come down to custom links. We're going to drop in the link to this, which is going to be forward slash resources forward slash. And we're just going to put in the name that we want to use. And there we go. Add that to our menu structure position it where we want if we need to change things and we'll save our menu. Now we've done the groundwork, let's see how we can start to customize the archive and single post templates inside the Bloxy customizer and build a great looking layout for our custom post types. And this is where the real usefulness that you have as part of the Bloxy theme comes in. And like I say, bear in mind, this is the free version, so you don't have to pay anything for this. If we scroll down, you can see there's a new section called resources, which is going to be the archive for our new custom post type and then the single resources which is going to be the individual single post template so let's take a look let's just hop over to resources by clicking on it in the navigation and we can see there's our index so there's what we have to start off with so now we can start to fine tune and edit this the way we want so what we need to do is come to resources and then we've got all the options so we can choose from the different kinds of layouts and you can see we'll select that it'll show us exactly what that'll look like Again, we can choose the classic option. We can mix and match whatever we want on here to get a layout that we kind of like. So let's just say we want to work with this particular layout. Now, at the moment, we've got lots and lots of text. We might not actually want to even show any of that. So what we can do is we can go into the card options. We can select this and then we can control exactly what's going to be displayed, the number of posts we're going to show on any page. We can come into the design and we can fine tune and tweak this or we can just leave it with the global colors and font styling that we set up as part of Bloxy itself. We have tons of options. So let's just say we don't want to use the excerpt. So what we're going to do is we're just going to simply disable that by turning the little eye icon off. And there we go. We've got rid of that. We might say we want to put the actual post title below everything else. So we can say, well, let's just drag that to where we want. Put the featured image right at the top. Give it a second or so to load. And there we go. So we've now customized the look of that. We can choose different card types. We can keep it really simple and have no drop shadows, no effects like that on there. Or we can just set them to be boxed and we can have those shadows around it to give it a nice little bit of sort of modern look. If you want to adjust anything, card gaps, cut inner spacing, all those kinds of things, easy to be done. Want to reduce the number of posts per page? Well, let's just say we only want to put five on there. Let's just set that to be five. And now we're displaying only five posts. If you want to edit anything inside here, the featured image, you can set things up inside there to have different aspect ratios. The image size is going to be used. It's a boundless image. There are tons and tons of options available to you. And like I said, the nice thing with this is it's all built directly into Bloxy itself. So we'll say we're happy with that. We'll publish that option. Now we can jump into an individual post and we can tweak that if we want to. So we'll select a post and you can see this is the layout that we're currently working with. But we're not limited to that. We can come back out of this right the way back out, go to the single resources. And again, we've now got control over how this all looks. We might want to have narrow width, for example. Well, we can choose that. We might want to have a different, slightly different design. You want to display the featured image, for example. Well, we can do that. So you can tweak this to get what you want. And once you select something, you then get a lot of options associated with it. So for example, with the featured image, we can click the arrow and we can now control how this looks. So we might want to have a wider image gives us a little bit more modern look. You might want to have a full width image. There we go. So we can adjust that. We then get a gap at the top. Again, you've got everything covered. We can simply come back out of this and we can come back into general 
and we then control the amount of spacing. So you might not want to have spacing above and below. You might want to only have it on the top, the bottom, or none at all. Well, you can do just that by simply choosing the option that you want. And as you can see, really, really easy to set things up inside here. Everything is configurable. You want to add a share box in. We can select it. We can then go in and we can edit it. So we've got full control over this, where you want to place it, how you want to place it. So you might want to put it on the side where it sort of sticks to the bottom, click and open it up, or you might want to have it like this, and we can have that to be positioned at the top and or the bottom. Simple, just add it in there, and we can just see it adds everything we want inside here. So really, really easy to work with, really simple, really cool to set everything up. And this is one of the reasons why I think for custom post types, if that's all you want to do and you don't want to get your hands dirty messing about with anything else, but you want to organize things, a theme like, well, in this example, Bloxy, really does make that process incredibly simple. The fact this is in the free version, I think is absolutely awesome. So I would definitely recommend downloading this, try it out, see all the options you have and the regular updates that are being brought out. But I think it's a great way of being able to create really good looking sites where you want to harness the power of custom post types with the custom post type UI plugin. Okay, before we wrap this up, let's just quickly take a look how this looks on the front end. So let's just publish this and we'll just hop over then and take a look at the site itself. So this is the site and we're gonna jump into our resources section. And once we're inside there, you can see there's our layout. Pagination is all set up inside there, all looking pretty cool the way we set it up. Go and take a look at the actual post itself. As you can see, there's all the styling in place or configured the way that we want it to be configured. Now, if you're wondering why we've got the share options are sitting slightly below this section, that's because what this is doing is, is displaying the excerpt inside the sort of layout. But if you want to take that off, that's very easy to do. We'll come back into our dashboard into customize and we'll just go and customize those options. So back inside the single resources option, we just need to go over to the resource title, expand that from there, and you can see there's our excerpt. We can uncheck that, uncheck the post meta, and we'll just publish this. Once that's published, let's hop back over, refresh this, and there we go. We've now got rid of that. We've just got the title at the top. So pretty cool, really easy to do. We can set everything up the way we want. If you'd like to learn more, check out the video on how to use Bloxy and some other great free tools to build a beautiful e-commerce website. Now, as always, all the applicable links for this video are in the description below. And if you've made it this far into the video, well, why not give that thumbs up button a click? It really does help me and the channel out. Now, while you're at it, if you like the content, why not also click the subscribe button and slap the bell icon? But if you didn't enjoy or get value from the content, feel free to hit that thumbs down button twice, as that works pretty well too. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts. And until next time, take care.